Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, my beautiful people. My name is Didi. I'm coming at you with a little mini what I cook today vlog, I guess. Um, every time I push play, here come the kids. Every time. Anyway, I'm going to make some butter, milk, fried chicken, believe some red beans and rice, cabbage, cornbread, I think. I don't know, but let me just start off with the Letting this marinate. I was supposed to do it last night, do it overnight, so it's only going to get about four or five hours to marinate. So let me just get this started now. This looks like a lot of seasonings, and which it is. But I'm going to use a little bit of almost all of them, I think. I had an empty container that I had saved so I could mix my own seasoning up because I like, I like taco seasoning and everything, y'all. And I want to kind of combine them together. That way I could just use a little bit of seasoning. If I put everything in one thing, you use less. So you got to be careful when you're doing it this way because you will over season it. But it is getting soaked in buttermilk and a lot of that seasoning is going to be in the buttermilk anyway. So we should be good. Let's get it going. I'm going to start off with some black pepper corn. Just let just a little bit. Just let that soak in there. You're not going to fry that up. That's just to give you a little flavor. I'm going to put a little minced garlic in there. And I'm going to put... I never put this in there before, but I'm going to try it. Chili garlic salt. sauce. Sauce. I put this in a lot of stuff and it's becoming quite a staple in my household so I'm gonna try it we gonna, we gonna try it and I got some chicken wings here um just the ones in the pack that's my garlic this is my chili garlic sauce it smells good hoping this to be just a little spicy I'm gonna put some hot sauce on it some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this is all going to be diluted. I'm using Red Rooster. Usually I'll be mixing all my hot sauces together. I ain't got time for that today. The first one I seen, I use this one. This is going to be okay. I got Louisiana. I got Crisco. I got the Tampica. If I ever say that right, I probably not. And I got the Japanese hot sauce. I don't be playing with the hot sauce. But that's the first one I ran across. So that's what I use. But anyway, let's move on. A little bit of my taco season. A little bit of the Lori seasoning salt. I love Lori's. Um, I love their garlic salt and their seasoning salt. That's like my favorite sodiums because I don't really use um, so so well salt. I use a just I don't use plain salt. Let me say that I use stuff that got salt in it, and I just leave the plain salt out of it. So this is 25% less sodium garlic salt. And I don't have any more powders. But definitely put you some onion powder in here. Garlic powder. But I ain't got no more powders. So we got to get the powders together. Using some lemon pepper. Lemon pepper goes good on chicken. That's my opinion. And I am going to put a little steak season. Just a little bit. Yep. I like steak season, y'all. Like I said, I'm going to do the spicy. Try to get a little kick to it. So I'm going to put that Kanye pepper in. I'm going to be probably just a little bit heavy handed with it. Because it does not have any salt in it. At least I don't think it do. It don't. Yeah, no sodium. So I do want the heat. Alright, I'm going to put a little bit of that Slap Your Mama in there. It's a Cajun season. Just a little bit of that. And it is seasoned. It just goes with everything. Alright, that's it. Stir it up just a little bit. It doesn't even matter because I'm about to pour this milk in it so it's off and it'll come off of it anyway and just be marinating in there. And I'm about to pour my buttermilk. Now remember, the longer you have this marinating, the better. I think the least amount of time is an hour. I did get y'all breakfast. You guys are hungry again? Eat a lunch bowl for right now. I'm busy. Thick buttermilk. Yes. Make sure you just cover all of it. Smelling good, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna put this in my refrigerator for about four or five, maybe six hours, and I'm gonna fry it up, and I'll show you when I'm done.
Red beans and rice, cabbage, cornbread, fried chicken. There's this buttermilk fried chicken. For some reason, I don't, I'm not satisfied the way the way this came out either. I'm going to have to get it together, people. Still good, though. You want another slice of pizza? Yeah. Mommy, mama. It's a thin crust. Let me show you their pizza. And it's the kids. This is the kids' pizza. Mmm, pineapple. Bacon here, Sparkle. And then here's the golden. Look at your golden. It's good. This thing is greasy, boy. Alright. Look at this. Good boy. Yeah, boy. I don't, I don't know why you tripping off my breakfast. You had cereal. I asked you, did you want some milk or some oatmeal? You said no. I got me some oatmeal, some green tea, and grapefruit, y'all. Just wanted to show you what I was having for breakfast. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, my beautiful people. Just doing another food vlog. Just showing, we, showing you guys what I, we're having for dinner. We're having chicken, soft tacos with cheesy refried beans, Spanish and Mexican rice blend, avocado on the side, sour cream, lettuce, tomatoes, onions. That's what we're doing today. I just want to show you. You already didn't finish your food. <laughs> your food gone, Sparkle. <laughs> Go to your food gone, too. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Me and Sparkle about to share this salad Wait. with avocado ranch dressing. Eat this. It's a BLT salad with cheese, bacon, chicken, grapes, and all that other good stuff. The grapes. No. Tomato no grapes. That's what I meant to say. Chicken nacho, nachos, y'all. Put me a little lime on my cucumbers. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Some roast beef. Leave your sister's plate alone so you can go there. Mashed potatoes and gravy and some corn. And I know this is potatoes. I mean starch on starch, but I'm craving I... corn on the cob. And Sparkle loves corn on the cob, so I, we haven't had it in a while. I need a mine. Mmm, good. Mmm, good. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Why are you spitting it out of it so good? <laughs> it ain't good? It is good. Well, then why are you spit it out? Good. Excuse my house. These kids and mess my house up. Go and let them build him a fork. With my chairs. Now he done got his tent out and decided to still mess with my chair. What's up y'all? Just showing you guys my my roast beef sandwich. This is leftover roast beef from last night. Got to put my onions on so my onions is right there. Lettuce, tomatoes, pickles. Onions, cheese, a little bit of ranch, and roast beef. But it up, y'all. That roast beef is so good. It's full of flavor. Yeah, boy. What's up? I got some ribs and some potatoes. Just what I have left in my freezer. I need to go grocery shopping. So... I didn't want to waste my ribs, but it was either that or Salisbury steak or a Cornish hen I have in there. I think a roast. And I just did a roast, so I just decided to do my ribs. Um, I didn't make a vegetable with this. I didn't I didn't want broccoli. I don't know if broccoli went too well, but I didn't make a vegetable. <laughs> I have a thing of cabbage in there. I could have used that. Um, didn't you want that? Um... <sighs> I could have made me a salad. I should have made me. I think I am going to just make me a little salad. 
Yeah, let me, let me make a little salad. Just a quick, easy salad. Don't touch his food, Swarko. So, yeah, I just got a quick salad. Didn't cut up no onion, no tomatoes. I don't even got no more cucumbers. So, yeah, this is what we're having tonight. Golden is tearing these potatoes up. Until next time. Well, never mind. This is probably going to be more down the road. So, yeah, let me just get off. Okay, bye. I'm going to have some great fruit for breakfast today. I'm going to try it with some of this. The stuff I got a big bottle this time because a little bottle gone. And having me some green tea. Somewhat healthy today. Good morning, my beautiful people. Until next time. And macaroni and cheese. It hurt my eyes. That I added hurt your eyes or that I added extra cheese too. And super double double cheese. All the clutter. Those are all cookbooks I'm about to pack up. Anyway, just wanted to show y'all. Got I put they macaroni and cheese for my baby with extra cheese. <laughs> Today we're having some chicken nachos, olives, tomatoes, cilantro, yeah, cilantro, nacho cheese, grated cheese, Mexican cheese, olives, onions, tomatoes. You know what? And um, sour cream oh and God. avocado. Yeah. That's what we're having tonight dinner. And it's real late because I just got to finish doing my sister's hair. And I'm exhausted. But I just had to share that with y'all. Until Back next time. Hey, See you soon. You <laughs> <laughs> Sitting up here about to play some sorry. And I just wanted to show you these homemade chicken nachos, y'all. They fire. Last night... I was tipsy and I had these as leftovers. And they just taste it. They say like they were salty to me, but right now, they ain't salty at all. They just right. Mm -hmm. I got um, some cilantro on there, onions, olives, cheddar cheese, nacho cheese, avocado, sour cream. I didn't put no lettuce on this this time. But I don't really like nacho cheese on nachos. But I put a little bit of nacho cheese on there just to melt my regular cheese because that nacho cheese is hot. And we got some refried beans on there, y'all. I think I've got everything. All right. Just wanted to show you what I had. Order up. I want a metal picture. Sparkles. Chili cheese fries and chili cheese hot dogs with some tomatoes, onions, avocados. Get that jar of Kool Aid. You gotta get the jar. If it don't, don't taste the same if it ain't in a jar. Tuna casserole. And the salad. Got a little Fritos on it. Look at Gobble. I got fatty first. I'm the one that <laughs> have on my capture.